Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Pisces, for the week of March 6th. If you like this reading, Pisces, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, all of that information is in the description box below. Just send me an email and let me know. So let's get you a moon oracle card. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. Anywhere in your chart, or if you're just looking in on a Pisces, all are welcome here. Ooh, you're close to achieving your goal. Look at that. Ooh, you can see it, Pisces. You can see it. And look at the bigger picture. Oh, God, so maybe you can see it. Maybe you've got to step outside yourself for a minute to see the bigger picture. Wow. What kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for Pisces? Ooh, the cobra wow look at all this fire look at this leadership you're stepping into as well oh pisces you are ready to strike and the swan you are seeing the other side of something something is easing up for you and you're able to see the other side of it able to see the bigger picture wow what kind of Zentero card is up in the ether for Pisces? That one maybe wants to come out. Reverse, oh my. And guidance, look at that. You've got some angelic guidance coming in to help you with this massive rebirth you're about to go through. Oh my, loving this. It's just uh, calling for you. This rebirth is absolutely calling you out here saying, let's do this, Pisces. <clears throat> Look at this, a total, total rebirth. Unbelievable. This is beautiful. Pisces, this is beautiful. All right, what are you thinking about, Pisces? What is on your mind? What is on your mind? Ooh, the Queen of Wands. Look at this fire again. So fiery, Pisces. You are getting something out. You are... <laughs> seeing it manifest in front of you now. You're seeing your own magic now. You're creating your own magic here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and you're so divinely protected. Look at that luck coming into you too. A stroke of luck. What else? What else for Pisces? Oh my God. Pisces, look at this. The high priestess comes in. Third eye really opening up. You can see this. You can see this. You are very, very close to achieving your goal here. Whatever that goal is, it's starting to come into your vision now. It's starting to clear up. It's like you were blurry with it before. It was cloudy or you had to rub it out of your eyes to see the, the truth of it. But here it is. Here it is. Your eyes are open now and you are seeing this. What else? What else is in the mind space for Pisces? Oh my God, there's that luck coming to you. The wheel of fortune comes out. Pisces, you're very, very lucky right now. Getting the breaks, getting the, uh, the uh, yeah, the breaks you need here to really make you soar into this dream, into this goal. Oh, Pisces, it's beautiful. You're rising up from the dark, rising up from the shadow work you've done from the inner work you've done how beautiful is that just bringing this into reality oh my god it comes out of nowhere this is like uh winning the lottery this is absolutely beautiful it comes out of nowhere you don't see this coming it's a huge surprise for you huge surprise in the works for you that spirit has created for you here wow 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 <laughs> love that oh look at this with the ten of pentacles this is huge this is big and it comes out of nowhere when you're feeling very lucky you're feeling very open you're very grateful you're very appreciative you're so happy just to see your light here and see that you've created something and see that it's out of you now and into the universe and it's tangible now and it really opens up this channel for you and makes you feel really good and then bam here comes the surprise of a lifetime <laughs> makes you feel so happy with the Ten of Pentacles. Makes you feel like you're really, really at home and content and joyful. <laughs> wow. What's in the heart space? What is Pisces feeling? What is Pisces feeling? <clears throat> Page of Cups, again, a card of surprise, Pisces. There's a surprise in store for you. 
<laughs> a surprise party for you. It's a little after your birthday, not much. But, oh no, it is Pisces season. It is Pisces season right now. <laughs> I think I just blew your surprise party, Pisces. I think I did. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh my. Ooh, the lovers comes in. Wow, look at this contract coming in straight to the heart space here. So some kind of partner really, really surprising you and um, fulfilling something for you, fulfilling some kind of dream for you or something you've been wanting for a really long time. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. And the sun comes in. Look how happy this makes you. Look how reconnected you are. You're just so open to receiving this. You are ready to receive. You are so ready, Pisces. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is beautiful. What a beautiful return of energy to you. It's a burst of energy coming to you. And it changes everything. <laughs> oh my God, good card after good card. Look at this with the Nine of Pentacles right underneath the Tower card here. Something big with money coming to you. Some kind of big offers. It gives you such independence. It gives you such freedom here. You are singing. It's like... Uh, the sound of music, right? <laughs> Hills are alive with the sound of Pisces. I mean, this is beautiful. This is a dream come true. Oh, Pisces. I love this. <gasps> the world. The world. Look at this major arcana. Look at this. Pisces. This is glorious. This is a testimony. This is beautiful. This is glorious. I'm loving this. Oh, I'm loving this. Huge, huge change coming for you. You don't see it coming. It's a big, big surprise. Four of Pentacles. God, you've been hanging on. You've been waiting for this. You've been wanting something different. You've been trying to manifest something different. Felt very, very stuck. And look, look at the focus you've had with the Ace of Wands on this. You've got the High Priestess just flowing this right down to the foundation of this. It started with a thought. It started with an idea of wouldn't it be nice. And it just flowed through your heart so smoothly here into the foundation of your life. So this is life changing. This is life changing. Oh, God, I love this. Wow, do I love this. Page of Pentacles, look at this balance you have found. There's balance with the wheel here too. You see how you've risen up to the dark here and you've found just such complete balance on the wheel of life now. It's just all these understandings because you're standing on the, the universal tarot here and it, and it is Pentacles here down. That's what I'm seeing anyway is Pentacles. So it has to do with money. It has to do with rising up from that poverty mentality. Something coming in to really, really change things for you and gives you just that complete balance and security here. Pisces, this is so beautiful this is a win this is a win knight of wands oh god the signs have been around you it's been really really um tricky to see because see the tiki torches in the background there the 11 11 coming through the the signs coming to the forefront now in your in your um peripheral they were hanging out there they were they were trying to wait for you they were trying to surprise you they, they it's very hard to surprise you pisces because you're so freaking intuitive <laughs> you already know everything so it's so hard for the universe for spirit to surprise you here i mean it's always we get knocked off sometimes with with things happening you know but never in this good abundant way never in that lottery winning moment there where you're just knocked off your feet with the oh my god i can't believe that happened you know, it's always, oh God, I can't believe that happened. This is an, oh God, I can't believe that happened. It just changes everything and you don't see it coming. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Oh, wow. And temperance Archangel Michael is, is here to help you with this, to help you find the balance and to um, reward you here. I mean, this is just all about rewards, karmic rewards coming to you. The, the vision coming true, pulling it from your imagination, but, but a surprise, really, really surprising you in ways you just, you hadn't counted on it. You just, you just didn't see it coming here. And I love that so much more about it that you didn't see it coming because you couldn't plan for this. You just couldn't plan for this. And it's, it's beautiful because we can never plan for the hard times. We just don't have any plan for that. But we always try to plan out our 
good times though. We're planning that vacation. We're planning that year when everything will be better or everything will get better here. So this is a surprise from the universe, from the angels, from God, from spirit to you. Comes out of nowhere. Something really, really good. Something that throws you back into your life. Throws you back into that happiness and just really free. Free from the stress of it all. Free from the planning of it all to work out in this great, fantastical way. Here it comes to do that for you out of the blue, out of the blue. And there it is too, a gift from God. The Ace of Pentacles is it has to do with money. It has to do with finances. It has to do with reinstilling your faith again with finances and money and planning and planning and planning. It removes that planning. It's like you can sit back now. You can relax now and really enjoy yourself because that part of it is, is done. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see what's surrounding you. What energy is surrounding Pisces? Judgment, more major arcana. Wow, wow. What was dead is now reawakened. What was lost is now found. Wow, wow, wow. This is amazing grace singing here, Pisces. What was gone is now found. And it is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a reawakening, a reawakening of dreams. Look at this with the devil. Wow, you had to go through some toxic stuff to get here, Pisces. You had to really, really keep your <clears throat> wits about you through some very, very treacherous times, some difficult times where you felt very unsteady. Maybe even in that moment, you didn't feel that unsteadiness, but it was there. It was, it was underlying. It kept, it held you back. It held you back in such fear here with the devil coming into the mind space here. Capricorn energy coming into the mind space as well, but things that were gone are now found here. So that includes fear. So be very, very mindful of that. Don't let any kind of fear hold you back of what I'm saying here, because surprises scare me too. I don't like surprises surprises. I really don't. Pisces, I promise you, I hate surprises. Don't even throw me a surprise party. <laughs> but this is orchestrated by the divine. This is spiritual surprise here. This is spiritual replenishment and re refillment to your heart space here. So do not be fearful of all surprises. All surprises are not bad. <laughs> <laughs> nine of cups nine of cups it's a wish fulfilled pisces it's a wish fulfilled it, it really is um heartwarming to know that miracles do happen and you're a firm firm believer in this this is what changes this is the rebirth of you is understanding that miracles do happen and magic still exists that's why the queen of wands is so aware of her magic now because this is going to put magic back into your mind again it's going to put magic back into your imagination again the empress i'm loving that taurus energy coming into the mind space and really really independence there's independence here from this um chaos from this darkness here that bolt of lightning just lights everything up this changes everything and you come into a real firm independence a real real firm solidness with yourself here with yourself you're very very content Strength. I can't believe the major arcana here. I cannot believe it here. But Leo energy coming into the mind space. You've got a lot of different signs in the mind space. So this tells me that it's um, it's you that's gaining the strength. It's you that's gaining your footing here. It's you that's seeing the um, the tangible here. The going from the imaginable to the tangible here. It's you seeing that. So that is so beautiful. It's so beautiful with the number eight coming through here. The eternityness of it. The the yin and the yang of it. The flow of it. The eternal flow of it is absolutely beautiful because this really surprises you and makes you happy. So I'm just loving the strength you have. The strength you have uh, within you is beautiful. <clears throat> Nine of swords in the heart space. Somebody grieving around you. Somebody getting through something here. There's somebody who's really um, having a difficult time overcoming or coping with something here. So they're having a very hard time sleeping. It really eats at them. It really um, gets into their heart here. And um, they're trying to overcome it. They're trying absolutely to overcome it here. So, yeah, somebody really needing your help right now and just listening and just uh, really helping to rid them of those chains that are keeping them in uh, bondage there in, in um, the toxicity there. So yeah, somebody around you really hurting. 
Gemini energy with the Nine of Swords. Eight of Cups walking away from it, though. I do love that with the lovers underneath there, too. The, the contract fulfillment, the understanding that not all contracts could be fulfilled in this one lifetime and really walking away from the workplace or not work, maybe workplace here. Maybe they, maybe, maybe with that devil up there in the mind space. But walking away from it and understanding there's better out there. There's better out there because the Nine of Cups is right around the corner and they've got the Nine of Cups on their mind. So they're leaving it for that bigger dream, for that more fulfilling dream to come true here. So love this. I love how they're turning their back on the grief. They're turning their back on the toxicity of it and walking toward the sun. You see how they're walking toward your sun here. So love that. They're going from the moon energy. The moon is in the background there with the Eight of Cups and they're going from that moon energy right into the sun. I love that. I love that. Five of swords. It was very competitive where they were at, what they had to walk away from. There was a lot of people um, getting in their way and comparing them and backstabbing them. And it was very toxic environment that they're, they're leaving behind. But I'm very happy to see them leaving behind. They've put their swords down and they're walking away from that battle that just felt unwinnable to them. So they're letting go of that. But you're getting your dream come true here. You're getting your wish fulfilled here. So I think that does uplift them and allows them to walk away from this. It allows them to absolutely walk away from it. So maybe you get this big windfall or you get the offer or you get the rep and rep, uh, rep, uh, you know what I'm saying, the money. <laughs> And it allows them to walk away from some kind of job that's maybe very difficult for them. There's a lot of competition, a lot of people trying to hold them down there. Eight of Pentacles, it is a workplace card. So it's on your Nine of Pentacles while you're getting that dream come true. It helps them let go of that last dream and the toxicity of it and the betrayal of it. So Queen of Cups are giving themselves that cup of love. It's sitting on your world. So that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They're, they're honoring themselves and that they are worthy for better. So they're walking away from the toxicity and the um the fight i love that and they're just giving themselves some peace for a minute i love that they're just looking at what's good in their life and being appreciative and um i love i love this energy i really do even though they're experiencing something really hard right now ten of wands again a lifting of the burdens a lifting of the burdens it was just too hard so i don't blame them from walking away and toward a new dream there i'm glad they're doing that i'm glad they're setting those burdens down very emotionally fulfilling for them so they uh, finally get to reveal who they are they finally get to be open about their emotions here and not bottle it up because other people are watching and judging here so they get to release that judgment on them and fulfill their emotional um, body here so I'm loving that I, I, I'm very happy to walk away from that what else is in their foundation spirit knight of swords some kind of real clear incoming uh, message for them so it really fulfills their heart whatever it is so I love that some kind of offer comes in to really fulfill them and say yeah well we're right it was absolutely the right thing to do to walk away from that or to give that up give up that bad habit give up that give up something here because it was not serving me well it was just keeping me in chains here so love that love that I'm, I'm really happy to see this new offer come in that's very heart fulfilling for them love it and the page of pentacles more offers coming into them this there's uh, uh an offer that comes in that maybe didn't pay as much um, as they used to make or whatever they're leaving behind maybe you made a little bit more there but it's so fulfilling here that they love it and you've got some kind of um, huge gift coming to you where maybe you can help or assist with that um, kind of gap but it leads to something much much bigger it leads to such bigger balance for them and probably a lot more money let's see oh yes it does you tell them to hang in there if it's not paying what it used to or what they used to get paid or where they used to be there's a big big gift coming for them too a big reward and it's their reward to have so somebody is making them an offer of money here and they take it they take it and it leads to a lot lot more for them so how beautiful you're getting your own windfall here it has nothing to do with them this is completely separate from you but it could be your friend or it could be your partner or it could be your co-worker or it could be but you've got your own surprise party coming in here Pisces or some big surprise the universe has orchestrated for you and it is a grand surprise it is beautiful it is exhilarating and happy and um, changes you it really changes you and um, your um, your fear your fear of defeat or 
fear of failure here it goes completely away and it really encourages you to get that get that um, creative project out there just be rebirthed with it and this offer comes in changes everything so you're just really being reborn with a new idea here it's, it's, it's a gift it's a gift <laughs> congratulations look at the betrayal of this person my god ten of swords this person feels so betrayed by that so and that so yeah yeah it's right it's time for them to walk away from that and get into this beautiful dream this big offer that's coming for them it changes everything for them and it leads to a lot more money and a lot less stress all right pisces i think i'll leave it here i hope you like this reading if you did don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe buttons pisces i hope you have a fantastical week and i will definitely tune in with you soon